Gregory Baltimore, offensive line coach Ryan Stanchek. Coach, we appreciate your time here as we get in week two of, of camp. Talk about how your offensive line is coming around. Well, we're doing a good job up front of competing, and uh, that's the best thing right now we've done. Uh, really stressed competing, playing to the whistle, and playing hard up front. Um, we got some young guys in there, and, and even the veterans. Assignments are going to come. You know, assignments are going to come, but in the beginning of camp, we just want to play hard, play hard to the whistle. How many offensive linemen do we have featured this year? Well, right now we're, we got about 13-ish, and uh, you know we got about seven or eight guys that right now I think can play. So we need to we need to get that number better. And the higher number of guys we get, they're going to play. You know, we got a good group of guys, veteran group of guys, and we have some very good competition. So competition is pretty high right now. Overall numbers aren't as high, but competition is pretty high. What is the optimal number of offensive linemen that you'd like to have going into the season? As many, I only need five. Yeah. <laughs> I only need five. You get five guys out of work, and, and to be honest, if we get six, seven, eight, even better. But we're going to have five out there that are going to compete. Talk about when you arrived. When, when did you come on board? July 1st. July yeah, I got here about July 1st, and uh, you know it's been a blessing to be here, and I'm very excited to be here with the group, and, and very lucky to be with the veteran group, and uh, you know, great offense coordinator, Coach Simmons, and a great group of coaches. When you saw this group as a whole on film or in person, what, what kind of jumped off the sheet? Well, I was, I was very surprised at how, how hard they work. You know, they work very hard, and, uh, you, you know, they're a family. And that's overall the biggest thing about all corner football teams so far has been a family atmosphere. It's been really good to be a part of offense, defense, special teams. It's been, a, it's been one brave family. It's been really good. Talk about the five up front and Gazia, Scott, Reno, Sampson, Dave. Just, just talk about that group. Uh, you know, they're veterans. They're veterans. They're doing a good job, you know. Uh, on Gazi, he's the leader. You know, we, we got a couple leaders. You know, Milk does a good job. Scott, yeah, I call him Milk. <laughs> I get nicknames for all those guys. But uh, they're, they're working hard. Um, you know, the, the center takes charge on the field. So on Gazi has got to be vocal, and he's done a good job of that. And overall, it, it, it's been a good group. We got to keep getting better every day. In an offensive line scheme, you talk about leader. Which, which position is the leader? Is the center the leader for the most part? Well, you know, the center, the center is always going to be the hardest critic. You know, because he's always touching the football. If we don't have a snap, we don't have a play. But along those lines, it's the tackle's got to communicate, the guards kind of communicate. Everybody's got to use their eyes to communicate. You know, it's the one position where we got five guys and they all got to be on the same string, moving back and forth. Everybody's got to be able to communicate, and that's five guys. You know, that, that, that's what's tough, and that's what we work on every day. Talk about some of the young guys that have kind of stepped up here in camp that have caught your attention. Well, you know, besides, besides all the returners, um, Eric Snow's done a really good job. You know, he's a JUCO guy coming in. Uh, he's done a good job learning. You know, obviously he has to work on some uh, steps and everything, but I think he's done a good job. And, uh, you know, Chris, Chris McCray's coming in, young freshman. He's working hard. You know, he's, he's just that freshman. You got you to get through it. And, and the, the older guys have done a great job working with him. But overall, all our guys, you know, Totoa, Totoa's done a good job. You know, he, he's right in the mix. And really all those guys are doing a good job. We don't, we don't have any guys that, that haven't been doing good. Every offensive line coach has sort of a calling card, a mantra about their, their group. What is, what is your mantra? What do, what do you want people to remember about Coach Stanchek's O-line? I, I just want them to know that, that when, you, when you play the Braves O-line, you've been in a battle. Uh, that's what I want to know. Win, loss, or draw, when you play us, we're going to play the whistle, we're going to play hard, play fast, and play physical. And we're going to come off the football. Talk about your road to Alcorn. You played at West Virginia 2005 to 2008, stops at Florida State and Indiana, where you're a grad assistant from uh, West Virginia to Mississippi, talk about it. Well, you know, in between there, I, uh, I started off, uh, I played at West Virginia. I was with Atlanta Falcons through camp, got cut, went to Cleveland, Ohio, and coached high school for a year. So that was a really good experience for me. And then I went to Florida State for one year under Coach Trickett and lear learned from him. He coached me in college, so that helped. And then I went to Indiana under Coach Greg Fry, who I also played for at West Virginia. So, so it's been great to learn from the two of them, and they're two of the best in the game. So it's been great to learn from them, and then I get to take, take what I learned from them and carry it on here. Pretty exciting.